And now I'd like to introduce a man I deeply admire, an actor we all adore, and our very own MC for the night, Mr. Ed Bagley Jr. Thank you, Maggie, Maggie. Give me a big hug. Vidiots, a big hand for Vidiots. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. Thank you. Oh, my God. Harry Dean, this is a big night. I had no idea it was going to be such a big deal. I wish I'd been a lot nicer to you. I'm hoping for the award a year or two from now. I'm hoping I get a Harry. It's going to be like the Antoinette Perry Award, the Harry Dean Stanton Award. It'll be the Harry. I think where it's going to be very much coveted. Harry just, for those of you who didn't hear, he said, what's your name? Um, I'm going to say from the bottom of my heart, Harry, and I mean this because there's a lot of wonderful stars of stage, screen, and television here. I want to say this, and I mean this. I expect to be paid. (laughs) If it was up to me, I'd be up here for free, but I have speakers, bureaus that book me, and this is a speaking engagement. There'll be an invoice sent tomorrow, and you, you deal with it the way you want to. But I'm very happy to be here. Um, I've known Harry a good many years. The truth is, I went to the Troubadour Bar and Tana's, places like that, hoping to... Thank you, Tana's and the Troubadour. Let's have a hand for the watering hole. The great watering holes of L.A. for many decades. I went there hoping to meet Harry Dean Stanton and Helena Kalinotis and uh, Buck Henry and all these wonderful stars that I knew from different films and different parts of the world. I, I, I just hoped to meet them. And one day I finally did. I met Harry Dean Stanton, the great Harry Dean Stanton. At that point, 1972 it was, and I met Harry Dean. I'd been an actor about, not about, exactly five years. And I met Harry Dean and we became fast, fast friends. We used to go back to his place and watch something called the Z Channel. Anybody old enough? Thank you. Before there was video, so maybe there was uh, maybe video was around too, but we'd watch the Z Channel, and, we'd, uh, and I became great friends with him. And I used to go up to the Canyon store, a uh, Beechwood Canyon, and uh, he would be doing the crossword there every day. I went, "Why do you do that?" And he looked at me and said, "It keeps your mind alert. You might want to try that." <laughs> I've been doing the crossword every day. He introduced me to Har- Alan Watts and to Krishnamurti, and opened up my mind to many important things in my life, Harry. All kidding aside, I love you so much. You're such a great friend. I talk to him every day. We talk uh, the crossword through every day, and uh, it's great fun to do the crossword with Harry still after. God, I guess this is, I think it's uh, maybe 44 years. That's kind of crazy. 